Hey yo, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna do an update on my setup and of course there's some issue that you might face maybe like your port is closed you might see some troubleshoot I mean like some relayed message on your network I mean on your hotspot and after that from there you want to find out how to fix it so on this video itself we're gonna do a guide uh, basically fixing it and of course more tips about this uh, hotspot miner so if you're not subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video and of course before we jump into the topic I'd like to introduce you to my discord channel which you can join using the link down below and from there we can have discussion of cryptocurrency uh, miners uh, hotspot or whatsoever you want to talk about in related to crypto feel free to join it and after that slowly building a community uh, based of people who are like-minded and after that crypto and two and after that we're going to jump into the topic basically talking about the update of, of my setup so previously, if let's say you have not watched the video itself, it's going to pop up above the playlist of my uh, Helium hotspot related matters. On the previous matter itself, I uh, spoke about the free guide, uh, I mean the full guide on RAK, basically Helium HNT minor hotspot unboxing and of course the setup, basically Singapore edition. So of course on the setup itself, I just done a bas uh, basic plug and play method and after that from there, like uh, after the, the minor has been synced and after that, uh, I see like many issues, like I see the relate and after that I went to the group and after that uh, look at other people's problem and after that from there I managed to like understand how does the problem work and after that managed to solve it. So over here you might see like uh, I'm just going to show you my update on my personal end. So over here on the update on my mobile application, the Helium application itself over here you can see. This is showing me that right now it is under, it is really earning some money and after I would say around 14 cents in Sing dollars, not so bad uh, sleeping and after that waking up and seeing a 14 cents. And after that I would say that over here you can see uh, there's a green button, I mean a green light over here telling me that it's singing. But of course on the application itself it is not the most updated one, I do not know why because I uh, also am sure why. So over here if you click on pro process, uh, I mean the progress itself, if let's say you are setting up a hotspot, it's going to tell you the, pro the progress of your miner. But of course if you want to get the most updated updated uh, uh the what, uh, what is that called basically the most updated uh, issues on slash progress on your miner on the blockchain singing itself you need to first of all basically uh, switch off the miner and turn on the miner again and after that from there just head over to this icon over here the gear icon tap there and after that over here just click on the pair so once you have paired against uh the miner itself you are able to head in and after that you will see the full diagnosis of your miner and after that you will be seeing something like the inbound outbound and after that uh there's also another one the blockchain sync it has to be a uh, hundred percent and completely sync and after that, the inbound and outbound has to be uh green if not you will see like something like this thing called a relate on hotspot i'm gonna show you what is it so over here, what's the relate on hotspot itself? So some of the miners over there, I would say that most of the miners out there, you might be, if you click on it and after that, you will see that hotspot is being relayed and after that, you must be thinking like, hey, this is like, maybe this is nothing to you and after that, you might think like, oh, it's okay, just being relayed and after that, uh, basically, I'm still earning money. So you can see over here, this hotspot is still earning money and after that, from there, yeah, basically, looks like there's no issue but of course, I would say that uh, the issue is quite huge if let's say you are... If let's say you are in an area that has no hotspot, there's no miner itself, if you see this message hotspot being relayed, right, I would say that you are not exactly earning any money, you are not able to uh, witness uh, the blocks and after that you are not uh, earning a lot of money through this itself and after that from there, how do you want to solve it itself, we're going to talk about the troubleshooting over here. So over here, um... Over here itself, we can see on the Helium document itself, the troubleshooting page itself, they said the hotspot being relayed is are not directly connected to the internet, but through another hotspot on the network, and after that can be yeah basically can affect your mining and of course your earnings. So this is a huge problem. And after that, I will say that if let's say you want your miners to be earning and after that uh at a hundred percent optimal uh within like I do not know your constraint of space, you want to basically earn a hundred percent. So if let's say you see this relate itself, you might be thinking like how do you solve it? So on my miner, I'm just gonna show you. So mine is the quiet iris marker and after that over here you can see that this over here has no um minor being relayed but instead you can see this suboptimal transmission scale. So if you click on improve itself, it's gonna bring you to app spot, uh, this hotspotty uh, hotspot uh, website itself. Over here you can see that in this I don't know what's this pattern called basically previously it's called a hexagon now I don't know what hexagon or whatsoever. Over here we can see that uh, my miner is exactly over here and after that over here there's another miner within this uh, range itself that that's why the transmission is 0.5% I mean 0.5 instead of 1 but then it is okay because yeah we are in Singapore and the space is super small I would say. So here you can see the hotspot uh, located over here. Uh, basically in my region itself, there is two hotspots, mine and another guy's one. So over here, the guy one is being relayed. So if let's say uh, he is alone, he might not be able to basically, 
yeah, basically get rewards uh, in the future. If let's say like there's no like you, you can see that here there's two hexagon, therefore he is able to basically relay uh use the the both hexagon on top of us to basically relay the message to basically witness and after that from there get rewards. But the cough is let's say these two blocks is not here, he might not be able to basically relay uh anything and not earn anything. So over here now we're gonna talk about how do you solve this um this issue on over here. Over here you can see right now you might be seeing that the the miner has a relay like maybe yours is having this issue and you want to solve it and after that you are unsure how to so basically now we are going to do the step-by-step -step guide to basically do all of this so over here the issue to solve this miner being relayed itself is very simple to basically enable this thing called the tcp port 44158 and after that over here you might be hearing about about this uh, this 44158 a lot in all the discord channel and i would say that this yes is the main the main problem that you need to basically unlock your this port itself to basically um, let your miner to be unrelated and after that from there connected to the internet slash the network directly so we, how you want to do it is very simple just head over to your uh, so you want to head over to portchecker.co to basically check your port first so just use your just click on use my current ip address on your pc or let's say on your mobile phone just click on it and after that just enter 44158 and click on check and if let's say yours your port is closed over here, you might have some issues saying like, oh, the hotspot is being relayed and after that, you might be thinking like, how do I un how do I open it? So over here, mine is already open. So I already de uh, deleted my IP address. So you guys can't track me. So over here, what you want to do is head over to your, your own computer itself. Just type in 192.168.1.1 and after that from here i'm just gonna link everything down below on the description just enter it onto your browser you will most of the router itself is one uh 192.168.1.1 basically if you click on this on your url itself you'll be redirected to the page itself and after that over here on the page itself you will be looking at uh this uh network setup which some of you guys might be very complicated complicated if let's say you, you do not know about anything about networking or whatsoever but to me i have a little bit of background so i would say first of all we have to enable this thing called a static ip address onto your network itself so how do you want to do that it's very simple for my setup itself i just need to head over to the LAN, and once i click on LAN itself you are going to be Head, head, head over to this dhcp server so over here most of the router itself you will see uh, either one either it's very straightforward it is just telling you that um a static ip address or the dhcp server just click on it and after that, over here we scroll down you will see that manually assign ip around the dhcp list over here you will need to basically assign a static ip address to your miner itself why are you doing that is because you do not want your miner every time let's say you're going to shut down your miner and basically you're going to reboot your miner from time to time to basically head over to the pair and after that you want to see like how is it singing to the blockchain whatsoever to check on your miner itself if every time you restart your hotspot itself your your router itself they are going to basically uh assign an ip address to to your uh to your device itself and from there the next uh the assigned ip address is always randomized basically what do i mean by randomized basically the last three over here is going to change from time to time basically what now right now is 192 if you don't assign it it's going to be like 168 and after that you're going to be like uh 254 or maybe a uh, three depending on your on your server itself your router your modem and after that from there you do not want that to happen because if let's say this miner itself is going to be on the network of the helium network we do not want the explorer to basically uh, get confused about it and after that from there yeah less complication and basically just set a static ip address for your helium miner so over here for your for my case itself i need to get the mac address so how do i get a mac address it's very simple on the mobile application itself so over here this is the screenshot they have took on the diagnosis report itself if let's say you already done your diagnosis you might be looking at this thing called the peer-to-peer -peer connection outbound is a tick and after the inbound is a x basically the port is not open and after that for the block change sync itself this is before it has been synced so over here what you want to look out for is basically if you are using the ethernet cable itself you will need to record down this uh ethernet mac address and after that if let's say you're using the wi-fi you are going to use the wi-fi mac address so just have a screenshot of this page and after that the next page itself is going to be like this if let's say you have solved the issue everything is going to be like this and after that from there uh if let's say um yeah basically you, this is what you're going to see if let's say everything is soft and after the settle so over here what you want to do is uh over here on the mac address over here if you click on this uh this step over here for mine is this uh issue so over here you can see there's a lot of devices and after that from here uh we, there's, we can detect there's a helium rak but of course if let's say you are using uh this is just a simple setup i mean if let's say you're connected to the router directly using the ethernet or the wi-fi you are able to see your net uh see your 
helium RAK, uh, I mean, it's going to call helium something something. If let's say you can, you are able to see, it, just click on it and after that, it's going to straight away tell you the MAC address. And after that, once you have the MAC address, just enter the IP address that you want to assign to it. Basically, how you want to check your IP address is very simple. Once you have, um, on the previous picture itself, let me unlock my phone to show it to you. Okay, so over here, so over here, what you want to do is basically copy this IP address as well. Just whatever is assigned now, just copy it. And after that, from there, you will need to set it as your static IP address. So once you have set it to your static IP address, for mine is this case. And after that, you just uh, enter it onto your DSTP server. And the next step over here is the second step you need to do. So the first step has been done already, setting a static IP address. So the next step, so over here on my interface itself is under when. Uh, this one and after they left say you want to basically you need to basically now need to open the port basically slash uh, what is that called port forwarding this is the term that we use it so if you want to basically port forward this uh, to open this port uh, 44158 itself you need to head over to the one so for my case it's under my interface just click on one and after that uh, virtual server slash port forwarding so these are the terminology that you will see on the back end itself the virtual server and after that port forwarding is the main thing you need to find so once you click on it itself you are you will need to enable port forwarding port forwarding click on on and after that over here it's very simple so you already set you already set the first step itself it's the static ip address so what you want to do now is very simple just copy the static ip address and after that just click on add profile and after that just on the internal ip address itself you will need to set set this ip address to basically uh let the let your router know that we are going to forward this port uh 44158 over here and after that the protocol that it's going to use is tcp only and after that just click on tcp and after that just copy these two onto external slash internal just put it on whatever fuels that it need to basically you see a port word inside just put 44158 44, into the into the empty box itself and after that from there everything is done just click on okay so i already set mine uh, basically just click on okay it's going to be listed over here so once it's over here already and after that you want to check if if it is really really open itself just wait for maybe two or one or two minutes just head back to this page itself use the current ip address and after that check do not enter the ip address shown on your static this ip address just don't do it because it will just tell it's closed just use your current ip address and after that click on check itself once it's checked it's going to tell you it's open open and after the next issue that um yeah basically people have been facing is like if let's say you are using a router slash a repeater ah uh, that one you are like wow shit man how you want to do it man this is my case so i'm just going to tell you step by step all right so this is the image that i found basically is to tell you about what is your internet setup like at home so over here this is something similar to mine basically mine is the internet like Sintel basically connected to the modem and after that slash to the wireless router if you have all this setup itself and after that if let's say your house is big and after that you know that you are putting your internet slash router the modem is on the living room and after that you are in your master bedroom or let's say it is somewhere that is far away from the internet you might not be able to receive the internet from your room itself that's why you get a repeater slash uh yeah basically a wireless repeater which is like those small devices like mine over here which is this I don't know if you can see uh, over here. Uh, come, come. For a moment. So over here is something like this. Oh, shit, man. Okay, so something like this. The Linksys, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is the Linksys uh, repeater over here. So here, the repeater, what does this repeater do? is very simple. To basically receive the internet from your modem and after that, just relay it. So you will get internet access from the living room all the way to your bedroom itself so over here you might be thinking like oh shit man i have all of this and after that from there my port is not open and of course the first thing you want to basically check is let's say your ssid basically is your wireless internet name your wi-fi name uh, whatever you call it and after that from there you want to basically check that how many wi-fi name do you have so sometimes i know that people who set up all of this without knowledge you will just basically just one of it is called a wireless which is from Sintel you are going to put it like Sintel blah 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 the name and after that your repeater itself you're going to put it customized to your family name or whatsoever and if let's say you see that hey yes I have these two SSID basically these two is the connection to your internet itself you might be thinking like oh basically I have two internet and after people want to come in they can use this and after they can use that and I will say that if let's say is if if that's the case itself you will be like looking at this kind of issues telling you that oh basically for for uh port 4415 is closed so what do you how do you fix it it's very simple over here so what the first thing you want to do is to basically on your on your repeater itself you want to set it to basically call the bridge mode so on the application itself you have to enable this thing called a bridge mode on the repeater therefore this over here is going to solve a lot of issue and after that, the next thing is basically let's say you have a wi-fi or 
your Wi-Fi most probably have a 2.4 gigahertz and after that 5 gigahertz what you want to do is basically on these two itself if let's say you do not have the smart smart connection thingy what you want to do is just very simple just set both towards the same name and after that it is going to work fine i was i just trust me on that and once you have set up uh this bridge mode and after that whatever as uh, whatever name that you have customized for your router or whatsoever your router or your repeater just rename it all to the same name and after that from there you are able to get your internet access you will be able to see this port open up uh like magic and after i would say that this is what you want to do if let's say you already do the uh, static ip uh, static ip address you already done the port forwarding and after that, right now the issue is you are you're using router to connect your i mean your repeater to connect into your rack uh, wireless uh, hotspot itself you might be thinking like oh shit, there's so many steps but then how do i do it it's very simple if you want any assistance itself feel free to join my discord channel and of course if let's say you want uh, other assistance from the related group basically helium minor uh, helium singapore community i'm gonna link both of it down below you guys can join it and after that from there yeah just head over to the discussion group and after that ask any questions and after that if let's say you need my sub uh yeah you are facing the similar case as mine basically using like router repeater and after that from there yeah the network is so cock up and after that from there you might see like hey there's so many name and after which one should i use just feel free to pm me and after that from there i can give you my best assistance if possible so basically i've come to the end so I'll come to another video. If you like the video, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and leave a thumbs up to this video. And of course, before we end the video itself, I'd like to introduce you to this website called airdropscams.com. You might be using like uh, Ethereum blockchain or Binance Smart Chain. You might receive all these airdrops from time to time, which is like from $5 all the way to $20,000. You might think like, wow, wholesale hit the jackpot. And after that, from there, you might be thinking like, wow, I can yeah, basically try to redeem this token once you click, click, click a bit. And after that, follow the step as instructed. Slash the next thing you know, eh, oh my, oh my God, my money is all gone. I got scammed and how man how did i how the fuck did i get scammed and after that from there you want to basically know more about this scam itself head over to adopscams.com and after that from there you can understand how does this scam works and after that this adopt scams work and after that from there you can protect yourself and your loved ones just share the website to them adopscams.com and after that i've come to the end of the video if you like the video kindly hit the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification and i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye guys